Hello everyone, welcome to our Krav Maga class. I'm Oren Malul, I'm a Krav Maga and fitness expert, and today we're going to teach you guys some effective and practical self-defense moves. Hey guys, today we're continuing with the ground techniques, and today we have a position, we have a situation that you're going to ask yourself, oh, how the person can get out of it? How is it possible? Okay? I'm on my stomach, Avner, you're on the top of me. Yeah, choke please. Yeah, don't give me this now, Avner, choke, yeah. So here I'm, I'm in a very bad disadvantage. What I do is I bring my hands towards his choke, release. Try to breathe for a second. Right away, don't wait too much. Your pelvis goes up, so extend your hips up and bend your knees towards your chest while pushing from those hands, pushing the ground. So that's how it looks like. For those who train fitness at the gym or any uh, fitness activity, they know that the power of the hips, my glutes, my quads, my all lower body is the strongest muscles, right? And for those who, for instance, train and, and do deadlifts, they know that hundreds of kilos can be lifted in this specific exercise. So here, we're using the strongest muscle in the human body. The hips, the hip flexor, the quads, all the lower body. Now, um, go to the ground. A big mistake that people do, they try to lift their upper body. It's not their upper body, right? Here you can even injure your lower back. We don't want it. Put your arms here. Now you push a tiny bit just resistance from the ground. Uh, and what you do is you bring your knees towards the chest while extending the hips up. That's the idea. And the head, look where my, my head is. Ah, uh, one more time. One. Now, from here, head is also pushing. And knees are coming towards the chest, inside, hips up. Yeah, second step, look at me. Throw him to the side. So with the shoulder, you just give it a little angle. He's already off of you. Now he's gonna be here. We're gonna go with counter attack. Up now. Let's try it out. I know it's challenging. Yeah. Remember, head is on the ground. Yeah, to the side. Okay, okay. So here, up now. You're choking. First thing we said, we try to get a little bit of air if we can. Second thing, try to yeah get a little bit of resistance. The head is also here. The head is on the side. So you push from the head also. Now the knees are coming up. Oh, 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 oh. It's starting to work. One more time. Avner, sit comfortable, All right? Yep. Ida, go for it. Oh, oh, and attack, attack. Attack, attack. Yeah, one more time. Yeah. Aggressive, explosive, you can do it. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. Attack, hammer, hammer, stand up. Counter. Excellent job. Oh, nice. nice. To conclude, guys, we had today a defense when someone is on top of you, when you're facing the ground. That's really the worst disadvantage uh, uh, we can have, the worst maybe position we can get as when you're facing the ground and someone is on top of you. And we saw that even though we were at such a, a, a bad disadvantage, we were able to flip over the attacker to give him counterattacks and run away. So here we can understand the real principle of ground technique. In almost any ground technique, the power of the hips, right? We talked about those big muscles, the hip flexor, the glutes, the quads, all the lower body that could really lift someone heavier and bigger. And yeah, Ida, you did it great. Yeah? Good job. Thank you guys for joining our Krav Maga class. If you guys are interested in learning any of the moves Owen taught us, make sure to check out our previous episodes.